Alright, hello guys, my name is Armani and I am the owner of AZFP and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Reshape correctly. This video is not going to be an edit, it's going to be the full part so you guys know I'm not skipping over anything. If you have any questions, you can either take it to my Discord or my Patreon. So first, open up a new browser, it doesn't matter which it is, Google um microsoft edge doesn't matter you're just gonna search reshade dot me so reshade is spelled r e s h a d e dot me you're gonna press enter or if you already have this page you're just gonna click on that link it's gonna be the first link so i'm gonna go back type it in for all of you if it searches this you're gonna press this first link right here and once you're on this site, you're just going to press download and then it's going to take you down. You don't want to download this reshade 9.2 with full add-on support because if you do, it's just going to say this and this can get you banned and it's only intended for single player games. So it should pop up as that, you know, for me since I have an antivirus. But keep in mind, reshade is not a virus and it doesn't have malware that is bad for your computer at all so you're just going to press download this reshade 9.2 file this is the current and latest version for me and date is sunday august 27th 2023 it's going to pop up as this right here if you have antivirus you're just going to press these three little dots you're going to press keep you're going to press show more and keep anyway once you have that, you can close out of this browser, or you can press open up file. I'm just going to close out of that file. So, now you're going to go to your file explorer. This is going to have everything you need, so I'm going to go to my downloads, and as you can see right here, this is Reshade 9.2. It has one next to it for me because I already have Reshade installed in my game. So, now you're going to close out of that. And you're going to find your gta5.exe folder. Make sure this is the correct path. So everything's going to load in. Once it stops loading in, you can uh, click it. So this is my path right here. Steam library, Steam apps, comment, Grand Theft Auto 5, and gta5.exe. Now to make sure this is your correct path, you're going to see if you have your game installed through Epic Games or Steam. I have mine installed through Steam. So to find your path, you're just going to go to this PC. You're going to click on your drive and then after you click on your drive, you're going to go to Steam and then Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and you're going to find your path right here, GTA 5 V. Now, this is my path. Make sure this is the correct path. You're going to press this little folder on the top and it should match up with this path right here. So once you know it does, you're just going to delete that and you're just going to press next. And I already have reshade in, so you're gonna choose the direct X that you have. I have direct 11, so I'm gonna choose this option right here. This one goes for direct X 10, 11, and 12. If you have any one of these other ones, then you can choose those as well. So I'm gonna press next. So after you do that, I'm gonna press. Uh, modify if it does come up with this option or you're going to press update since I already have reshade inside of my game It gave me this option. If you do not have this option. Do not sweat it Because if you do try to do it the way I'm doing it, then it's going to pop up So you're just going to press modify and next once this pops up. You're not going to choose anything here. It's going to press skip After you press skip you're going to go through everything that you want to have but reshade you want to get the best of it so you're going to go up here and you're going to press uncheck all and then you're going to press check all now see here you can go down here and you can take off depth 3d by blue sky defender you really don't need this in your game but it does not make a difference if you do have it or not so once you have everything checked you're just going to press next once you press next it's going to start installing everything in your gta5 directory so once it um, is done installing like this, it's going to pop up like this with finish. You're going to press finish. After you do that, you remember that directory I told you to look at? You're going to open up that same path again. 
So you're just going to go to this PC, your drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and your GTA 5 folder. Now I'm going to be installing this for 5M. So installing this for story mode, you should already have it in your game. But you're going to find these files I'm going to be clicking. So you're going to press control on your keyboard and you're going to press reshade shaders. You're going to go down until you find X, I mean DXGI.DLL. You're going to find this file. You're going to click this as well. And then you're going to go down until you see these reshade files right here. The only reshade files that you need is this INI file. You're going to need this file. And you're going to need believe that was about it yep those are all the things that you're going to need unless you want to select this reshade preset which i'm going to do so after you do that you're going to press Control c as you're already pressing Control. so just press c it should copy onto your clipboard and you're going to open up your 5m application data to find your 5m application data you're just going to go to your desktop and you're going to find your 5m you're going to right click on your 5m and you're going to go down to open file location after you do that you're going to press file 5m application data so once you're here you're just going to press plugins now these are all the things i have in my game my custom uh presets that i usually make so once you have these you're just going to press and hold Control v i'm going to do that once after you do that it's going to copy everything here so since I already have reshade in my game, I'm just going to press replace the files. Now, as you see, that's everything that you needed. So you're done with this and reshade should be installed successfully. So you're just going to open up your 5M. It's going to take a little while since you just added a couple of new files into your game. So once it successfully loads up. Then you should be good and you should see this loading on the top. If you do not see this loading on the top, then you may need to change your game um, version. So let's gonna just sit here and wait for this to get done really quick. And it should say this. That this is how you know you have reshaped and stock successfully. So now I have a 75% keyboard, so I do not have this home button. If you have trouble finding your home button, then I suggest pressing Windows, go down to search, and type on screen keyboard. It's going to be the first thing that pops up right here. I'm going to press this. You're going to click into your game one time to get it registered in. And if you want to, you can click play, even though you're not going to load into anything yet. So you're going to press home, and it should pop up just like that. As simple as that, and now you're, I don't go through the um, tutorial, so please ignore that, guys. I do not go through the tutorial, so I'm going to press skip as you're watching the tutorial how to install it. Now, you guys should have all these files right here. If you don't, then that means you did not install it correctly. As I said, if you have troubles, you can go to my Discord or my Patreon or in this video's comments, and I'll be going around checking to see if everyone is not having any troubles or if you do have trouble you know you can contact me so if you guys have a, a reshade preset i'll show you how to put that in later in this video but you're gonna make sure that you say this most people like to put it on the same exact directory as their 5m plugins folder or your gta5 plugins but if this works perfectly fine for me, and it should work perfectly fine for you. So now you have this. You should say reset preset right there. You're just going to press settings again. And you're going to go down to overlay. I mean, up to overlay key. You're going to press this once and put it to and press the button that you want to put it to. So I like mine as insert. I'm going to make mine insert. This can go for anyone. As you see, I, T, R, E. Or, oh, but I like mine as insert. So once you have that as insert, you're going to press home. And you're going to press insert one more time. And it should close out of that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to install your own reshade presets into your 5M. 
So guys, you want to find your reshape presets. Once you find your reshape presets file, as you see this in mine right here, I have a lot of presets as you can see. So I'm just going to click this one or you can press um hold down your mouse, left click and you can drag and then once you have all of them highlighted, you can press control C. It's going to copy all of them, but I don't want to do that, so I'm only going to do this one and I'm going to press control C and copy that. After you copy the preset, you're going to go to your 5M application data. Once again, you're going to go to your desktop, right click on a 5M, open file location, 5M application data, and plugins. Or there's another way to do this, guys. If you do not want to put it in your plugins, you can put it inside of your GTA 5 directory. But I do not put mine in my GTA 5 directory because I'm usually messing around in here. And some things can override, so I usually put it in my plugins to keep my directory clean. So, me and my plugins to keep my directory clean, yes. So, once you have this, you're just going to press Control V in the file that you want it in. And as you see, I already have it, so I'm just going to press skip this file, and it should install. So, once it installs, you can click out of this and open back up 5M. So once 5M opens, as you see right here, you're going to press your button to open um, reshape. You're going to go back to home. You're going to look for your preset. If you cannot find your preset, then that means this directory is not what you want it to be, guys. So I'm going to show you how to find your directory. So you're going to press Windows File Explorer, and you're going to go down to where you put your preset in. So let's say I put mine in my 5M plugins, as I do. I'm just going to click on my 5 plugins folder and I'm going to click this little folder that's on the top. I have Windows 11, so this may be different for you guys. But as again, if you have any troubles, just let me know. So once you have this, it should be automatically highlighted for you. So you're just going to highlight it again if you, um, is it, if it's not highlighted for you and you're going to press Control C. After you press Control C, you're going to go up here to this file. You're going to highlight everything by holding left click and just dragging it all the way across and you're going to press control V as you can see your reshade should pop up in as long as you can scroll up and down and it should pop up now I use my own preset so I'm just go down to this one right here and everything should pop up for me so I'm going to go in story mode and show you guys how my game looks with my uh, reshade preset and I'm going to start making uh, presets for my Patreon. So, as we're going to be loading in-game, everything should start just working. And, uh, as you can see, this number right here, when loading into Story Mode 5M, it's going to be loading all the 54 files that you need to start up the game. And then, after it does that, it's going to put you on the loading screen, as you can see right here. Now, my game does look overly colored, but that's just because of the time or the color that's in the uh, pictures. But trust me, guys, my game does not look like this on a regular basis. So, in the description of this video, I will be putting the uh, Reshade website. I will be putting my specs, and I will be putting everything else that all of you guys can need. So just ignore Trevor right here with the uh, monkey mask. I don't know why he has that, but as you guys can see, this is how the game looks. Everything looks perfectly fine. Everything looks normal. So I'm going to change up the time right here, and I'm going to put out. So now Yeah. 
So now, let me go here. So this is like a way. Don't have any trouble starting this. 